Hello and welcome to Mr. Know-It-All and I am Mr. Know-It-All. Of course, that's kind of silly because obviously there's no such thing as know-it-alls. Uh, I'm sure you've been at meetings just like I have where somebody acts like they know the answer to every question. How annoying is that? So I decided that I would pretend to be Mr. Know-it-all and I've had some Facebook friends randomly send me questions that I have not read and my wife dutifully cut up and put into little slivers in this tin can. And what I'm going to do is randomly pick out a question and then answer the question or attempt to answer the question as a know-it-all would. So here we go. Let's get right into it. Here's our first question from the bin, the question bin. All right. This is from... PK, person initials PK, where can I get help for the holidays? Like rent and presents, Mr. Know-it-all, I've tried everywhere. Where can I get help for the holidays? Like rent and presents, Mr. Know-it-all, I've tried everywhere. I suggest, uh, uh, Mr. PK, that you burglarize Santa's North Pole office. Because obviously that's the source of all the presents that the little children get through the chimneys and through the fireplaces. So dress up, impersonate an elf from Santa, sneak in, burglarize, and get all the presents for your children. Look, really, if you get caught, just tell Santa what you did. He'd probably just let you go with a ho-ho-ho and a couple of cookies and milk and say, hey, you're just being Santa's helper. So... That's how you do. Take care of that, Mr. PK. For our next question, this is from CK, person with the initial CK. On the other hand, why do so many that say they can't afford health insurance manage to afford cigarettes, liquor, fast foods, and other unhealthy lifestyles? Okay. They can't afford health insurance, but they can afford cigarettes, liquor, fast foods, and other unhealthy lifestyles. Uh, I agree with you. Uh, and actually, uh, if I had a choice between health insurance and a pan of lasagna, I'm going to go for the pan of lasagna. I mean, if I'm going to go, if I'm going to die, I want to die happy with pasta sauce on my lips. So, uh, Mr. CG, that is a, a question of priorities. Always choose the lasagna over health insurance. Okay, our next question. JBW initials writes, who put the bop in the bop, shoe, bop, shoe, bop? Who put the bop in the bop, shoe, bop, boop, shoe, bop? Oh, okay. Obviously, that is a quote from a 60-ish uh, song, who put the bop in the bop, shoe, bop, bop? And the answer is, that is the dumbest question that I've ever heard and that's uh, a question I'm going to totally ignore because I got no clue, nor do I care who put the bop in the bop. Those songs were stupid in the 60s. I mean, they just made silly lyrics like, I got you, babe, I got you, babe. And they repeat, baby, baby, baby. I heard a song the other day, baby, baby, baby. That's all it was, or honey, 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 or child, child, or darling, or whatever. They just repeated the same old stupid words over and over. So I'm not going to answer that question. It's not fit for the time of Mr. Know-It-All. Sorry, Mr. JBW. Here's our next question. CG. Wait, we already got one from CG. Let's try somebody else. Okay, this is from PK, initial PK. If the shortest distance between two points is a straight line, why do politicians hold office so long? If the shortest distance between... Two points is a straight line. Why do politicians hold office so long? That question makes no sense at all. And that tells me that the person with the initials PK should be a politician. Because politicians are expert at making statements and answering questions with statements that make no sense at all. They will confuse you. They will obfuscate you in the question and the answering PK, you ought to run for office. I will vote for you. And because you're so confusing, the question makes no sense. Good job. You have political aspirations for sure. 
All right, that's this first session of Mr. Know-It-All. Hope you enjoyed it and just keep smiling.